Hello. Topic of my short presentation is an experiment on making a bone tube and testing its acoustic properties. Such artifacts were recorded in corded ware graves. You can see a map with sites where bone tubes were found. I'm also showing how many bone tubes were found on each site. The experiment aims were to reconstruct the manufacturing process, to identify manufacturer traces on the bone tubes, to examine acoustic possibilities of the bone tubes. During the experiment, I made two bone tubes. In my experiment, I model my bone tubes on the base of artifacts from Konusha site. Here, you can, we can see original finds and the bone tubes, which are a result of experiment. As you can see, the whole experiment was recorded. As the raw material, I used the sheep bones, a Świeciechów flint, a sandstone and a cowhide. All those raw materials have been confirmed, except for a cowhide, at corded ware sites. During the experiment, I observed the sequence of activities. For example, sewing, cleansing, rinse. Now I'm going to present selected activities. Here you can watch the process of sewing and here you can observe whiffling and its traces visible through a microscope. Here is polishing and smoothing and they results visible through a microscope. Let me show you a table with different activities and an evaluation of the time needed to perform the first instrument. And now the second one. As the next point of my analysis, I present a cognigram that illustrates the chain of operation. The cognigram is based on the assumption that the bone tube was used as a simple communication tool. For example, to warn of danger. Of course, sound generators could have different function. On my right hand side, you can see sonograms of first bone tube while on my left hand side you can see sonograms of second bone tube. The x-axis of sonograms shows the time in seconds and the y-axis represents frequency in hertz. The brighter the color, the more decibels. As you can see, done bone tubes have more stable tone and they are louder. It confirms that such artifacts are useful for sound generate. To finish, I would like to present the sound produced by both bone tubes. Thank you for your attention. I would be grateful if you had any questions of the issue presented here.